Yes. So, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes. Talk. Okay, it was about the recording, but before the yes, okay, sir. Yes, please. Okay, sir. I have a question. Okay, I I think two questions. Two people have questions. So, the guy speak the Okay. So, uh, please with the with the title. So, we that we haven't built any website, what should we write? Should we copy us? With the with the, with the title. Oh, with a title, it's your your own thing. So you can you can say my personal site, it's your own title. So use whatever you want to. Oh, sure. Yeah, whatever you want. Okay. You can see my file, you can see my money, my anything you want your so someone build a website, call it YouTube. Someone also build a website for so you to build one and call it something. You get it. Okay, okay the lady. Okay, sir. Yes, please. please. Why did you leave space at the fourth? Okay, why did you leave space before writing the title? The title. So where where is it? Um, why are you talking exactly? The why? fourth line. Why the, did you leave oh, space? No, I. Oh, you can you can just type it there. You can. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sometimes. I you, so. No, sometimes you might want your you might want to space your website. So it's just it's your right oh, okay yeah someone wants oh. to write a very clear code they will be a space in it so it's your own preference you can leave a space or not oh. right so we are oh. moving on now we are done with the head we are moving to the body now so i'll open my body tag very neatly oh, and close my body tag so here is my open and closed body tag. So yeah, that's it. Um, please have a question. Okay. Um, the indentation at the fit line. Fit line. Is there, um, yeah, the indentation at the fit, the fit line. Mm -hmm. Is it um, um, always necessary? Like, is it something that is very important? That no, no, no. After no. Putting the head, you have to invent. No. No. You open the head. This is what you have to know. You open the head, and I, then you bring your title. You close the head. This is just this is not what you need in the head. Do you get it? Okay, thank you. Yeah, you are welcome. So you just open. You just type your open header, your closed header. Then in between, you bring your open and closed ti uh, title. Then in between the title, you type your title. You are done. Then you come and open and open and close a body. So in between the body, we are coming to type whatever we want to display on our website right now. This is where you get a chance to type whatever you want to tell your visitors. Okay. No. Sir, yes, please. And um, please, do the numbers matter? No, please, it doesn't matter. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so we are, we are continuing. Now, in between, yeah, me, I want to type welcome. I want to type welcome. Welcome to my money sites. Welcome to my money site. I can give you money. This is what I want to show to you. So you can also type whatever you want to type in the body. Now, before we add the footer, we are going to run our website for the first time to see how it looks like right now. Now, you, if you are using a Sublime or any editor you are using, go to the save, the file and click on save us. Click on save us. Click on save us. So on your saver, so you name 
So you name your file name. Me, I'm naming my my first website. So I'm naming it M F W dot. You should bring dot H T M L to it. So your 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 file name dot H T M L. Please know where you are saving it because we will go and run it from there. Know where you are saving the file. So you you first go and you name the file whatever you want to name dot html. Then you click on save. Me, I'm saving mine on my desktop. And you click on save. Then you click on save. Are we cool here? Does anyone have any questions so far? All right. If no question, after save, let me go to my desktop, locate my file. Then, okay. So let me let me also show you that. So I'll go to my desktop. Please, so you to go to wherever you save the file. I'll go to my desktop. I presume you can see my desktop now. I go to my desktop. Yeah. So this is my file. Let me see. Thank you. have you seen it this is my website so you can see here welcome to my money site i can give you money wow yeah so you see the title with i type my first website look here you can see i my first website here I hope you've been able to run yours. If you are facing any, if you've not been able to run, let me know so that I can help you to oh, get. Sir. To this Hello, sir. Yes, Hello, madam. Okay, sir. Please, can you go over how you save it? Okay. Yes, please. I'm saving mine. They said it's not valid. Okay, so this is it. Okay. Um, I'm sharing the screen again. Okay, so you have your code here. You have your code perfectly here. Now you go to your file, then you click on save as. My myself, I'm using a MacBook. I don't know why you are using, but whatever test editor you are using, go to the menu and click on save as. Save as. You click on save as. There should be a dialog box appeared appearing for you then you type the name of your file i typed mine mfw that's my first website then you bring dot html dot html make sure you know wherever you are saving your file for me i'm saving it at desktop at desktop then you click on save. Because my file already existed. I want to replace it. I've saved it. Are you okay now to this point? I 
Um, so this one I tried to save my um my code. I always get the feedback an error occurred. So what what does it tell? You? What are you using, a phone or a computer? The same here. Okay, so what, what test editor are you using? I'm using Sublime. On a computer or phone? On phone. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so you saw the same as mine. Okay, so I think you have to display some app which are not allowing me to save my documents. Oh, okay. Then check it. Check it well. I just have to start all over. Okay. You can you 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 can actually copy your code and start all, then paste it. Copy your code, then you close everything, then you open and paste it, then you start. Okay. Yeah. Who else is having a problem? Yeah, Hakim. Hakim. Can talk. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, so please, I have two questions. So at least okay. my first question is based on the previous code we've written before doing this practical. Okay. Uh, so please, uh, with the body, uh, the headers, with the body one, we started with each one, my first heading, and P, my first paragraph. So please, the each one, what does it mean? And the P, okay. the meaning of... Okay, Hakim, I like I like I like your question, but I think you, you are trying to step ahead. Okay. It's step by step. The the H1, I'll I'll give you a just brief. H1 means if you want in on in your body, you want to type something, you want to type in your paper, maybe you are, you are in news, in news something you want to type. I want to make some of them bold. Use H1 tag to bold. Okay. Yeah, and the P is paragraph. Paragraph and your written. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are, we are yet to get there, right? We, are, we will learn. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah, we are yet to get there. Hello, sir. Yes. Hello, sir. Please, can you, Thank can you, you minimize your, your background so that we get the, I'll get the entire interface of what you, you have, of your uh, work? Okay, let me see. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Um, Kwabna and Kenneth, one should talk. One after the other. Okay, this is Kwabna. Okay. Uh, I'll just I'll just want to say the thing we should take our time and listen to the uh, facilitator because I just did it and I've gotten my um my own rights. Okay, that's good. The next one, who is talking to you? Um, please, my question is, mm -hmm. assuming um, we've saved we've saved the file and okay. we run the file, we open the file, mm -hmm. but after opening it, you realize that there's a mistake with what you did. Maybe you, you did a typing mistake and you want to edit it. Yeah. After editing it back in the uh, text editor, okay. what the would the edited one be displayed in the already saved file okay. when you try to run it the second time or All right. you would have to save it again before? Yes. So listen, you might have created the website, but you made a mistake in maybe instead of me typing, welcome to my money site, I type welcome to my money. No, I didn't bring the why. I will come back to the editor edit it then save it this time i won't go to save us i'll click on save then i'll go back to my browser will reload it the 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 effect will be taken there do you understand it hello all right thank you yeah thank you so I hope you are... when you save it to the dot html and you double click on it to open it 
It runs automatically. No, I'm using so normal so notepad. Yes. Less than. I don't know how you are going back to edit it. No, less than. No matter the editor you are using, wait. Now, the editor you are using, when you save your file using the .html, it doesn't mean you should close your edit. Don't close your editor. Open your edit. Let it still be open. Now, go to wherever you saved your file, then run that file. That will display it in a browser. If you made a mistake, come back to your editor. Correct that mistake, then click on save. Go back to the browser and reload it. It's going to take place. Do you get it? You don't need to save us again. You don't need to save in a new file again. No. After save, after correcting in the editor again, just click on save. Then go back to your browser, reload it. It will take effect there. Are you okay now? Hello, can we move on? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Yes. Who has a question? All right. If there are no questions. Now, I want to show you something. You see my website, my, so you see my website is welcome to my money site. Let me, let me do it. Welcome to my food, my food site. Then I save it. This time I just save it. So let me go quickly. Let me quickly go and reload my website. Okay, so where's my website? Hope you all can see my site, right? Yes, please. Okay, let me try and reload it. Uh, you can see it has changed. It has, let me. That means you could have joined it. Can you see right now it has changed it? Welcome to my food what they call money. For the class. It's not it's not it's not like the course that you if said you right, you have to be following up. Do you have to be following up because you have to do everything with your laptop too? Do you, do you get it now? Yes, okay, so you've seen I, I, I made an edit in my editor. I saved it. I came back to my browser. I refreshed it. It has taken effect right now. It's welcome to my food site. Now, I want to position this test in the middle of my website. I want to position this one. You've seen this one has shifted to the left side or the right or some has become some way. I want to position it in the middle of my website. I will go back to my editor. I will go back, please look very closely. I will go back to my editor here. Okay, to my editor. Then I will use the tag, a tag called center, center tag. So I will type my tag center. Now, see something, the center, I'm using the center to cover all my body. Let me, let me, let me go in it so that everyone can see. You see here, I type the center, open center, close center to cover my whole body here. I covered my whole open and closed body. It means everything in my body is going to be in the center of my website. Do you get it? All right. So now center of my website. Now let me save it and go to my, now I've saved it. Let me go to my browser, then see the effect from there. 
now on my browser. Let me reload it. You see, I've reloaded it and everything has positioned at the center of my browser. Welcome to my food site, comma. I can give you money. Okay, let me let me let me edit and, and say I can give you food. Please following and be doing some. I can give you food. Then I save it. I save my file. Now let me go back to my browser and see if it can change there. Welcome to my food. I can give you money. Let me refresh it. You can see it has changed. I can give you food. This is not magic. It's what you are giving. The code you are giving is what is being displayed to your users or your customers. So whenever a customer visits this my website, they know this site. I give food here. So far, so good. Any question? All right, so far, I presume each and every one of us can build a website up to. Do you have a question? Yes. Ask. So please, after coding, use the, the text this thing to do all your coding. How do you see it on the browser? Now, take note. When you save it, when you write your code in your text editor, editing you are done then you click on save us that's saving is for the friend type your the name you want to save that file then you add a dot html then you save it at a place you can find it okay you are done now after saving it you go to wherever you can locate that file then double click on that file open that file it's going to automatically open with your browser then display whatever it is written in it do you get oh, it? Okay. Yes, as simple as that. Very simple. Up to this point, you should be able to understand it. You should be able to build a website up to here. Yes, um, Kenneth, your hands is up. Um, please, my question is, assuming you've typed um, a lot of things into the body, the body tag. Okay. But you want to, um, you want only the first line of the body tag to be at the center of the browser without affecting the rest of the, of yes. the things type. What yes. Do do? There, it means, it means you, are, you are going to place the center tag around that section of the written. Do you get it? Now, I will introduce you to paragraph whereby we are going to divide our, mm -hmm. our body into paragraphs so whereby i can make welcome to my food size then you come to the next paragraph i can give you food. we are going to do that do you get it okay yes hello sir yes please mm -hmm. yeah please i wanted to ask um with regards to the center tax do we have any other one like left and right tax yes we have we have them but that one comes with a different task attached so we have a line to, mm. line to right that one it's a bit uh far i should mm. uh, introduce you to them but for now let's mm. take the center right mm. okay okay thank okay. you you're welcome Amy. so mm. now one last thing i'm going to teach you before we break this class is how i'm going to make welcome to my food size then you come to the next line i can give you food now let's go to the test editor okay so i've come here now i'll enter my body my body tag then i'll bring something is called break line break line the tag is Watch very carefully. B R slash tag. This is how we, we bring the break line. Now then okay. you save it. Save it again. Remember, whenever you edit, just save it. 
Now, I brought M and B out. That is called a break tag. I want welcome to my food size. And you come to the next line to read, I can give you food. That's why I bring this one. So everyone type this one in your code and let save it. Let's go to your browser to load it. Now I've saved mine. I'll quickly go to my browser to see what. Okay, so I came back yeah, to my moving. browser. Now I'm reloading it. You see, that's reloaded. Welcome to my food size. Next line, I can give you food. Any question? Please, those writing to you can write them down. Then when you get time, you practice them. I'll give you an assignment after this class.